What's up everyone? This is Yard Dog Lawn Care in South Georgia. I'm going to show you how I set up my 6x12 enclosed trailer with everything you need to do lawn, do lawn care basically. Everything you can do in the yard just about. You know, everything you need. I used to have a small trailer or a 16 foot trailer and I didn't like it. I always kept trashing it. Anyways, this is a, I bought these from these weed eater holders from Tractor Supply last year and I had them on my other trailer so I took them, drilled some holes and put some two by fours up there. You can see that, the holding weed eaters good. Okay, I went to Lowe's, got these little bad boys right here, I think they were like four dollars a piece. Cut me some two by fours, screwed to the wall actually, you know exactly, you see what's on there, my head trimmer's on there. My, my ladder and I got me a little budget cord to keep it from bouncing around my blower attachment you see my blower and uh, same thing come from Lowe's and the little brackets did a little smaller hedge trimmer over there that's my rakes my shovel you know everything you basically need you know I got some little extra hooks for just a whatever kind of thing I've got a fast track super duty 60 inch fits in here if anybody's trying to figure out whether a 60 inch fits, fits in here nobody puts a video on and says yes a 60 inch fast track will fit in a 6x12 trailer and you might have about a uh, half inch on each side but if you go slow you can get it in there and that's perfect that's what I did you can even leave a bag suit to it as long as you you have to get that thing right there off of it though before you bring it in because you can't I built a little table you can get up in here side door I built, uh, I built a little table I don't know what I'm going to put up there, just, just throw stuff, probably a catch-all, um, tools, you know, I might put a little toolbox up there, I'm not really sure yet, just a little, it's kind of high, but I want it like that, so I got a green trash can into there, and a couple of trash cans, and we're running um, 93 octane on our fuel, oh, we got our gas cans right there, Troy built blower, I could go for a better one of them, but it works pretty decent from Lowe's. And it's about a 50 horse motor on it. That's what I tell everybody. And I think it's got a, an eight horse. And uh, sometimes, like, some, sometimes it feels like you can fart louder than it runs or blows. And if it fart harder than it blows, there we go. Um, this is the Husqvarna. It is the I forgot what kind of backpack blower this is. It's the 150 TP. It's just uh, what they had sold. I can't. I did in the beginning about five years ago. I was just getting everything they had basically. I didn't just jump and buy the best on the name, you know. So this is Bib. I've had this blower for, oh man, four years. I've got another one in the shop right now that the carburetor had to be worked on. Well, this bad boy right here is a steel. I've had this about five years. If you want a good weeder, get you a steel FS58 RC. That's a badass, excuse me, bad boy. It'll go through anything. Uh, thick grass, weeds. <laughs> We've even chopped pine cones up just messing around with it. Okay, another awesome thing to have that you can get into this. I went and got an Echo Weed Eater from Lowe's, or excuse me, Home Depot. It's the Echo, and it's locked, so I'm not going to turn it around. It's the Echo PAS 225. It's the one with the attachments on it. I've got a hedge trimmer. I've got a Weed Eater attachment, which I probably never ever use, and because I have that Weed Eater, and I have I have an extension for tall bushes, if you can see right there, and the straight hedge trimmer <clears throat> that goes with it. Now that took some getting used to. I know how to do it now, but like for the first couple of days or a week or two, I was lost because I was always using that Sears short one right there, if you see that. And uh, I still break that out on occasion for small hedges. All right, y'all. Well, I hope this helps anybody. I hope this helps somebody uh, like it helped me. Um, I went on YouTube and kind of said, hmm, I want to make it look professional, you know, instead of just all junky. I like to be clean and everything organized. You know, it makes you, it makes you look better, at, you know, at people's houses, basically, at your clients' homes. They look, they see that. All right, yeah, and uh, also one thing I haven't put up yet is a weed eater holder, weed eater string holder, and it comes from Northern Tools for like $27. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm going to I'm gonna set it right here beside the weed eaters where you can always grab you some and, you know, always have it on the ground with you because you know how weed eaters are. They love string. So, all right, y'all. Well, 
if I can help you with anything else, shoot me a text or message me on YouTube. All right. Bye.